<laughs> this is my one bedroom, one bathroom apartment in Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> This is my one bedroom, one bathroom apartment in Puerto Vallarta. We are located in the romantic zone, the Zona Romantica. It's very serene, very wow. pretty, very chill. But first things first, you have this beautiful like entrance with this nice entry table and this mirror. How cute. I got this light from a thrift store um, in Seattle and I brought it with me, but isn't it so cute? We'll make our way to the bedroom. We have this grand king size bed. I kind of wanted to go for like a cool tone tropical vibe. <laughs> um, we do have a TV in here as well, and there is a little window, but it goes to the hallway, so we don't. Yeah, that's. It's not ideal to have the bedroom in here, but it's fine. Then we'll make our way to the bathroom. We have a nice double sink vanity. Thank Perfect God. For Eric and I, we always have to fight over the sink. And then we just have a stand up shower with one shower head. It's and huge. Then toilet. But yeah. And we go into the hallway, which is, has this beautiful brick detail right here. I love it. It adds so much character. And then here is the living room, dining room, slash kitchen. Super cute. Kitchen's on the smaller side, but it has everything you need. It's very compact in here. Um, nice gas stove. And then TV with a little seating area. This couch actually pulls out into a full-size bed. So if we ever have guests over, that's where they'll be sleeping. And then lastly is the balcony. We have a partial ocean view with the local buildings amongst us. It feels great up here. It's warm. But that is it. Thanks so much, you guys. <laughs> Unpacking right now, I find that when I unpack on trips, it just makes everything easier because it's like right there, easy to grab rather than zipping out of my suitcase basically. So I just put some of my bags up here and then my nicer shoes. And then I put like my sandals and my tennis shoes out by the front. But I am gonna literally put everything out and then store my luggage in the laundry room because we do have a washer and dryer, which is nice. It's really, it's kind of like small and compact, but there is some side, some space on the side to put stuff. So I'm gonna do that. feels like I have underpacked now that I've put everything out but I have all the things that I can hang right here hat bag shoes bags and then drawer with like tops sets shorts and then workout stuff and then like this is my sleeping gowns and then this drawer is like my undies socks and then bikinis exploring and we're getting ready to go upstairs to hang out in the hot tub and have some drinks but I want to show you guys the inside of the cabinets like look at how cute these are look at the shot glass beautiful I want to steal them this cup so cute they're like stained glass and then there's some of these, so freaking cute. How gorgeous. And then a couple appliances. We have a, an espresso maker, but there's no beans, so I don't know why. These are plastic. Well, actually you can put the espresso in here. Um, there's a little frother, that's nice. Some tea and some sugar. How cute are these? 
these little espresso cups. I don't drink coffee, but I will be having some tea in the morning. We went to the supermarket and got a couple things. Obviously got hot Cheetos. We got some seltzers, some Topo Chico's, and then some white wine. So we're gonna bring these up to the pool and just chill out because we wanna have- We're going to bed. A chill day. And a, a chill, chill night. A chill day, a night. It's, <laughs> it's done. had such a great sleep. We got, what, eight hours of sleep, I think. We went to bed pretty early. Well, considering the time change, we went to bed before midnight, so that's like 11 for us. And then we woke up at 8.30. But we're getting ready for the morning, and we're gonna go to the gym in our Airbnb. It's just um, downstairs. Upstairs. Or it's upstairs, actually, near the pool. I need to put our names down, though, because it's such a small gym. Everyone has to make reservations, so hopefully there's a time slot for us at 9 and it's empty. That was hard because I used all free weights with no machines. But we're gonna go back to the room, freshen up, get ready for the day, and then we have an appointment at 11.45 and 12.45, sorry, 12.30 for some. I'm just wearing this set that I got from Amazon. It's kind of like a knit crochet set, which is super cute. It's asymmetrical. Oh, yeah. And then I brought my little beach bag and my flip flops. My hair is just wet right now because I just took a shower and I washed it, but I'm just gonna let it air dry and hopefully it's okay. I think it'll get frizzy in this weather, but it's fine. We are Los Volcajetes. And they were just like Tacos de Cortes Finos al Carbón. Can I get a quick bite, maybe a taco? And then our appointment is just finally safe to be found a couple steps down that way. What'd you get? A quesadilla con carne asada. And then I got a quesadilla with chicken. No onions, just cilantro only.
Oh, nice. Yeah, we live in Bellevue. Oh, nice. I'm from Seattle. He's from Chicago. We start with two and a half cups of water. And a pinch of salt, which is that. Can we do this before it starts boiling? Yeah. All of it is. Oh, pinch. all of it? Oh. Yeah. It's this my pinch. Person to person. And the salt is also, it's right here, we can see it. So start moving it. That's um, a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon? Yeah. yeah. So it's just all the salt. And now pour all the cinnamon with it. And let's let that cinnamon stick rest in the center of the pan. Right there is perfect. So I'm going to shape the dough like a cone so it goes easily into here. And now wrap around it. Beautiful. And drop it. Perfect. And now twist the top and close it. Very tight. Pipe higher than the churro. And when the churro touches the tray, we stop pressing, we lay down, and here we cut metal with metal. Got it? Right handed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right hand down. Right there, there you go. go. There. Now. So, press. Press. Stop. Lay down. Yeah. And cut with the wood. Yeah. You, when it touches, you stop squeezing. There you go. And lay it down. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so tough. Yeah. From the front, he has the star shape. Stick <laughs> together. Um, they will, oh. but they uh, stick. Rib with rib. Light brown like this one's too very dark. Uh, when you get to eight minutes of frying your churros, the churros are going to be dehydrated and you're not going to see any bubbles at all. That's when the churros starts absorbing oil. So you don't want to get to that point. But right now, if you see um, bubbles here, they don't pop right away like the beginning. Now they're just lingering. So you can take the churro. Crunchy outside, that's your perfect traditional churro. Mm. The cinnamon is so different. Isn't no. it? Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. You can coat them with the cinnamon you get in the US, mm -hmm. but the, the feel of the churro, the taste is going to be completely different. You're watching no, this. No, Hello it's again. It's <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. What a small world. So wild. It's so crazy. We're just walking by and she's like, Eric? It's like, what? Who's that? Well, it's pretty late right now. It's like 10 p.m. But we're just going to have a small bite to share. Um, we are at Si Senor. Si uh, Español. Uno de los dos. ¿Cuál tiene? Es muy español. Déjame traer el otro inglés. ¿Quieres? Sí, por favor, para allá. So nice. There's like not a lot of people out on the beach when it's late, but there's so many restaurants here that like you can just get a table at the beach so easily. The place we wanted to go to, we've been already to the beach club, but there's a private event, so we couldn't go there. But I'm so sad because I do remember the calamari being so good. That's what we want. We just want calamari. Yes. You have to. We're right by the ocean. Day three. Getting ready to go to the gym. 
Eric's doing some work. I made some green tea over here and then I made some drip coffee for Eric. We have this little like espresso slash coffee maker, drip coffee maker. I tried to use the espresso machine the first day and the coffee wasn't very strong so obviously I did something wrong. But today I did the drip coffee because that's really easy. But delish. Lighting isn't great right here, but full details of my outfit. I love these flip flops with the arch support since I have really high arches. I usually never wear white, but since I am gonna get tan, I figured I would just wear this today. Here's Eric's outfit. What's she wearing? Abercrombie. <laughs> Squeaky chunk glass and a white tank top. Those glasses that he thrifted. Yeah. Let's go. Animas. We were supposed to go to a different beach, but our boat drivers recommended this beach instead because there's a lot of different restaurants and stuff. So we just got ceviche. We keep getting ceviche, but it's just so good. So they, they don't do it like this back in the States. Yeah. And then we have our couple chicos that we brought. Eric ordered on wine. Yeah, because I feel bad not ordering from them. Now. But we have these nice chairs with our umbrella. Super close to the water, but all the boats are docked here. So basically, you can only get here by boat. So. <laughs>
full day it's Sunday but today we're doing a little experience slash excursion we're gonna do a little um, hidden beach waterfall hike it's about how many hours four and a half hours four. yeah four and a half hours from 10 30 to 3 we're gonna do a decent hike and then it goes into like these waterfalls and stuff and we'll swim take photos have snacks but we just bought like a little mini backpack because the only backpacks we have are like big backpacks and like totes. So we went to one of the stands, the vendor stands, and we bought this backpack, which is super cute and small. It fits everything that we need. We're sad that it's our last day, but we're excited to do this little hike and just like see some amazing views. But um, after the hike, we just have dinner reservations at this place called Lake Cliff. And it's literally a restaurant on the cliff in like up in the mountains in the hills so that's at i think 7 30 and hopefully we can catch the sunset then and then yeah we'll take you guys along hopefully we don't die it's gonna be really hot today again so we'll probably get burnt and even tanner than we are so
last dessert of the night. We just had tequila shots and they were really good. Yeah, I want another one. <laughs> Late every night we've been having two tequila shots, so maybe one more. It's our tradition. And we know how and it is. We sleep, we're so good. We do. What's the second thing next to it? That's um. You took a shimmy bite. Here. What's that whipped cream thing? Whipped cream, I thought it was hard. I thought it was um, that little like puffed whipped cream. What is that called? What pastry? That's ice cream.